And in the case of psychoanalysis, you know, the only rule really within the axiomatic or the, or the science to follow is to believe in the unconscious. So um, I don't know to what extent that's a model or just a, um, a way of practicing science and, and a way of reaching those conclusions that, that we haven't reached otherwise. So uh, for me, the unconscious is a very boring notion in a way. There are stuff that I consciously attend to and the things that I don't attend to, I'm not conscious of them. And the theory that uh, when I'm not conscious of them, they don't exist in my mind uh, is uh, apparently counterfactual because apparently my mind does lots of things while I'm not looking. Right. So, of course, most of my what my mind is doing is unconscious. It also turns out that many of the operations that take place in my mind are not accessible to the kind of operators that my consciousness needs to integrate them into my memories. So I basically don't get into my low level perception because my consciousness is not able to dissect the processes that produce low level perception. Arguably, there is possibly no way to make such things. Uh, the conscious thing is just models, right? Models of the model making. So the brain doesn't know what it's like to be itself. Uh, to be in a certain state doesn't mean that you know that you are in the state and what it's like to be in that state. It's a secondary model, right? It's part of your mind guessing at what other parts of your mind are doing. And uh, everything that's outside of this domain is necessarily not going to be subject to uh, the sphere of what's conscious. And so, yes, of course, everything, uh, almost everything is unconscious. And the things that are in your consciousness are constructs that explain the surface level for learning and later investigation. And most of what we access with our conscious mind is analytic, which means it's grammatical in a way. And uh, all these distributed neural networks that compute most of our perception are inaccessible to these operations, right? We just don't get into it. And we're not able to uh, drive this uh, analytic uh, dissecting arm into uh, this big forest of uh, the underlying um, structures that produce the contents of our perception. Most of our mind is perceptual and it uh, manifests itself at this boundary to um, our cognition as feelings, as uh, senses. And this doesn't mean that we can decompose them. Uh, we can decompose them, but we probably cannot get into them. So we can build computer models of perception. And we understand increasingly why these computer models are not uh, uh, suitable for uh, using grammars on them because grammars are not efficient to compute them, right? You need other structures to do this, more basic arithmetic, linear algebra, for instance. Mm 